Well guys, I want to do a quick review of my little rolling car that I have. This is something that really, really works well for me. Uh, since I don't have a lift, um, you know, when I do any kind of a job on the front end or rear end, like that, this time I'm uh, doing a brake job, and, um, you know, I have to, you know, I have to sit down, I have this little, uh, little stool that I can, that I can sit on, and uh, historically what I had to do, this is my main, uh, main tool card here, and um, I would do a uh, passenger side first, get all the tools that I need out of it, you know these sockets here. I would, whatever I need, you know, I would I would take it out of this cart and then I would put in this uh, like a like a, some kind of plastic pan, and then I would uh, you know go to the other side and uh, and finish the job. And of course, uh, you have to go up and down all the time. And as you get older, you know that that's not fun anyway. But you're not efficient. You know, it just takes so much longer to to do what you need to do. So I watched Ivan and in his video, he's got a similar car to this one. So I decided to a uh, made one for myself and this is really really nice this saves so much time for me and uh, this is just a craftsman uh, cart that I've got at Lowe's the other day not like I said like a uh, four months ago and it uh, has a uh, five drawers now at the um, at the bottom I uh, this have this little dolly this is from a uh, Harbor Freight and uh, this is just used to uh, move the furniture around so what I did I uh, pulled a couple of these drawers out and I screw this uh, cart to my uh, to my to my dolly now so it doesn't doesn't move and I can actually roll it pretty easily now now on the on the right side I have a this is just a little holder for my uh, penetrating oil this is from uh, Harbor Freight it's a magnet and I have a couple I drill the holes at the end and put my screwdrivers in here now on the top I have my my sockets extensions I have my um, this little mirror this from some old car I have a uh, the uh, torque wrench and uh, this is also really nice so this is a cobalt brake bar and this really really works well and um, and this one as well now the uh, my uh, socket organizer is from from uh, is cobalt I they they are fine. I like them a lot. However, this is the newer one now. The I like the older one better. The old one was going all the way up to 27, but it was um, designated. You could you could buy one that's designated for for uh, Matrix. Now you can see here it's actually angled on the other end. I can actually show you here. And this is what I have in this drawer. This is the old one. It's the blue one. This is this is only for metric, and it goes all all the way up to to 27. But it's nicely angled, so you can see the numbers. Now this is the new one, and you can see uh, on the uh, this is what it looks like. This is for for standards, and uh, then uh, for the, if they would make it, you know, angled on both sides, it would be better. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but you can you can still see it. But I really like the old one much better. But they are no longer available. And um, but they, they they work okay. So that's what I have on the top now. On this side, I added these two drawers, and this is just uh, this little tray is actually the drawer from my old uh, cart, the rolling cart that I had, and it's this one here. This I got on on yard sale a long time ago. So I I pull one of these, two of these uh, little drawers from the top, and I bolted them to the side of that cart. So one on the bottom, I just used to get my lubric lubricants. This is for my uh, air tool, and uh, this is for the brake brakes. Just a uh, different uh, uh, grease for the for the brakes. Now the top one is actually something that I really really like a lot, and this is a designated for hardware that I would take off when I'm doing, you know, uh, the brakes or whatever. So this is always empty, and uh, right right now I have uh, everything that I removed. It's already in here, and I don't have to struggle, look around, trying to figure out where did I put it, you know, where where to go, and it's always nice and clean. You know, it's, it really really works well. This is my favorite part of this tool. This saves me so much time, and it's not in the grease, it's not laying around, it's not rolling around. It's, everything is in here. I have to dust it off a little bit, but uh, when I replace my whatever I removed. Any hardware that I remove, springs, whatever, everything goes in here, and then once I'm done, you know, I put everything back together. Now, in a, on a top drawer, I just got this uh, torque set. 
uh, it was for, this is from uh, this is a gear wrench I got it was at the Harbor Freight not a Harbor Freight I'm sorry uh, Tractor Supply and there was like thirty nine dollars on sale so this is a really nice kit I just got this like two days ago and a couple uh, I mean, this is a cheap one from uh, Tractor Supply as well and a couple of screwdrivers and sharpie and then uh, the next one I got this is my favorite ratcheting wrenches these are my favorite this is I have three full kits of these and they are you know swivel head and that they are just they just work and um, the only downside of the gear wrench to warranty these wrenches you have like what I have to do I take I go to Sears and um, they will take it from you and then they will they will send it to a company and then a the company will mail it to your home address and uh, I actually back in the summer it's been now a good three months I would say I left 15, 13 and 10 and this is from another kit and uh, 13 and 15 I've got it like in a week and 10 is still on a back order I guess many people use them and um, or whatever they and um, so they're on the back order I should get it by end of this week and uh, they, well, actually what happened to them they, they still worked okay but the head was just a little loose and you know I didn't have to replace it but since I, you know had a lifetime warranty might as well do it because the, the head was just that it is how nice and stiff the, as I as I use so many you know 15 13 and, and 10 they, they, the, the heads got a little bit loose and that's why I replaced them so I, I should get 10 10 uh, by the end of this week and I got some extra wrenches here as well now this drawer I got my uh, different um, uh, ran, uh, ratchet ratchets uh, this is all just like this is a Craftsman and uh, Duralast and Cobalt that's pretty much and, and the Harbor Freight that's mostly what I have anyway that that works fine they have lifetime warranty and if they break I just replace them Cobalt is pretty easy we got Lois here in town I go to Lois and you know I just get one off the shelf and the Duralast as well I go to AutoZone I can replace it pretty quickly and um, this is just uh, these are hooks for my, for my uh, calipers and this one here and this is really you must have this when you do the brake jobs and uh, that, and then uh, there you go. Now this drawer, I have some pliers, breaker bar. Uh, this is the uh, something that I made a long time ago. This really works well if you um, you know if you have to use a wrench to loosen up the bolt and you don't have enough leverage. You can actually, of course, you can use a second wrench. But sometimes they can kind of slip off, and with this tool, you can simply put the uh, wrench into this handle, and it gives you a long, long grip. And uh, this works very well. And uh, I just made I have some scrap metal with well, these two hooks, and you put your wrench inside of it, and uh, gives you a good long handle. I actually, have another handle, even if I <clears throat> so I can actually extend it. I just slide another handle on on, on the end of this one. Uh, which usually don't need it, but you know if you if you need, I just have it in another cart. And this this is my favorite tool as well. Yes. And uh, right in the bottom drawer, I just have a this plier should go in here. Uh, got a hammer and uh, just a tool to pull my uh, caliper back. I like this a lot. I use it all the time. C clamp, my Nano. This sort of thing works fine. And uh, a couple brushes, rotary brushes, and that's it. But now this is a uh, pretty much everything that I need for the brake job, axles, whatever I do. You know, front end, it works fine. My, you know, for the brakes, I pretty much have everything that I need. If I if I do axles, maybe I need to add something else, but uh, bigger sockets or something. But uh, for the most part, whatever I need, it's in this cart, and this really saves me so much time and energy to get getting up and down. And it's all organized and uh, it works very well. But this is my favorite part here. This tray really, really works. Uh, all the hardware goes in here and uh, everything is clean. I know where it's at. I can take it back, put it back where it needs to go and I'm done. I got a little magnet here and uh, that's it. Alright guys, uh, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.